Have you just bought a spa pool or swim spa from Spa World in WA? Or are you thinking of buying one? If so, you most likely have some questions around building permits, council and installation requirements. This video will cover frequently asked questions that apply specifically to WA and then I'll cover those that apply nationwide. This video is designed to provide a simplified overview of current regulations in reference to Spa World products. It is not a complete guide and we advise all customers to seek independent advice in relation to their own personal site requirements. The information in this video was accurate at the time of recording, however this can change without notice and the viewer must check with their local council. Hi, I'm Annabella and in this video I'm going to get you up to speed with all the need to know information and common questions that apply to those that are shopping for or installing a spa pool or swim spa in WA. Then I'll answer questions about other regulations that apply to spa owners across Australia. In most cases during this video, I will refer to spa pools and swim spas as spas. In Australia, there are regulations that are specific to each state and regulations that are shared nationally. To make it easier, I'll section this video into 10 parts. The first four are specific to WA and those that follow cover national regulations. Spa building permits and registrations in WA. Installing a spa in WA. Safety barriers for spas in WA and general frequently asked questions in WA. And nationally, finding the right location for your spa, installing a spa, electrical requirements, customizing a spa and alternatives, using the spa and Spa World Learning Center. Section one, spa building permits and registrations in WA. Am I required to get a building permit for my new spa? Yes, in most cases you will need a building permit to construct, erect or install a spa pool and its safety barrier. Please contact your local council to discuss whether an exemption under legislation applies to you. Is my spa required to be registered on the council's swimming pool and spa register? At the time of publication, WA does not have a formal swimming pool and spa registry at state or local level. However, all new spa pools require a building permit for constructing a fence. This permit will be lodged with your local council and you will have periodic inspections. Do I require a building permit to build a small deck around my new spa? All decks are required to have a building permit in WA, unless exempt by the local council. You may also require a planning permit if the deck is raised to be either equal or greater than 500 millimetres from the existing ground level, is closer than 900 millimetres from the property line, or exceeds a height greater than 2.4 metres. The best thing to do is to contact your local council. Section two, installing a spa in WA. What specifications are required for a spa slab? Spa World can provide generic concrete slab designs for both swim spas and portable spas that are suitable for most soil types. For more information, please head to the Learning Centre on our website. Section 3. Safety barriers for spas in WA. Does my new spa need to be fenced with an approved pool safety barrier? Yes. According to legislation, a compliant barrier must be installed around private spas in order to restrict access to the pool by young children. A lockable hardcover is not considered to be a suitable barrier in WA. Do I need a registered builder to carry out building works associated with my pool safety barrier? Registration as a building contractor is not required to install a new spa or fence in WA. Although you can choose to be an owner builder, you will need to apply for an owner builder's license for work that's valued at more than $20,000. Can my property boundary fence form part of the required pool safety barrier? Yes, a boundary fence can act as part of a barrier to a pool, 
if the height of the fence is at least 1800 millimetres on the inside. A boundary fence also needs to have a non-climbable zone with a 900 millimetre radius from the top of the inside of the barrier. There also needs to be a clear area of at least 500 millimetres from the bottom and inside of the barrier. Section 4. General Frequently Asked Questions in WA Does my new spa need to have a CPR sign installed adjacent to the spa? WA does not specifically reference CPR signs as a requirement in swimming pool legislation. However, SPASA, Swimming Pool and Spa Association, and Spa World recommends that a CPR sign should be placed within the immediate vicinity of all swimming pools and spas, even when there is no requirement to do so. Does Spa World have electrical compliance on all the products we sell? Yes. All Spa World products have the relevant electrical approvals where required by legislation. If you require a copy of these certificates, please email compliance at sparworld.com.au. Section 5. Finding the right location for your spa. Can I install my spa into a deck? Yes, you can install a spa into a deck. Keep in mind there are many things to consider to ensure you can have trouble-free use of your spa for years to come. We recommend that you head to the Learning Centre on our website. Can you manually carry or lift a spa pool into position? We don't recommend lifting a spa pool manually because they are heavy. For advice and handy tips, we recommend that you read our pre-delivery guide. Do you need a crane to install a swim spa? Yes, you will need a crane to install a swim spa. Depending on accessibility, a hire truck may be able to do the job, otherwise a crane will be necessary. How do you get the spa pool or swim spa into a backyard? Well, this depends entirely on your access to your property and the location of the spa pool or swim spa. We recommend that you head to the Learning Centre to learn about other options to consider. Can I install my spa pool or swim spa in ground? We don't provide in-ground shells, however you can still install your spa pool or swim spa into a pit. We recommend that you view the pre-delivery information on our website for further details. Can I place my spa pool or swim spa on anything other than a concrete slab without voiding my warranty? We strongly recommend that you use engineered slabs and we can even provide you with a generic engineered design. However, if you would like to put your spa on anything other than an engineered slab, you will need to arrange for an engineer to certify the foundation. For more information, visit our Learning Centre. Section 6. Installing a spa. Do I need approvals for my spa? Spa World asks that every customer checks with their local council or certifier about what approvals are required to install a spa pool or swim spa on their property. Do I need to fence my spa? Each state has their own fencing requirement guidelines, and this is based on many factors, including the product and location. However, we do advise all customers to check with local councils or certifiers before installing a spa. Does Spa World offer an installation or compliance service? Spa World offers a delivery service to customers who live within a certain radius of the store location. It's best to contact your local Spa World showroom to see if we can deliver to your property. The Spa World team doesn't install spa pools or swim spas or issue certifications for your installation. However, Spa World can refer you to a certifier that will help you with the regulations that are specific to your property. Using a certifier can save you a great deal of time and money. Where can I find information on delivery or installation of my spa? The best place to go for this is the Spa World website. You can find all the information you need about pre-delivery and installation ideas just through our Learning Centre. It's also important to know that when you make a spa or swim spa purchase, you will be assigned a Spa World concierge who will look after you and make regular contact from the moment you make your purchase through until after the delivery. Do I need to contact a plumber when installing a new spa? The short answer to this is no. However, if you're installing the spa pool or swim spa into a pit, you will need a plumber to ensure there is adequate drainage in place to prevent the pit from flooding. I already have a concrete slab, but it's not level. So what can I do? 
There are floor leveling products that you may be able to use to provide a level surface. If you have a fall of over 20 millimeters over any length of the spa, you may be able to use chocks to provide a level surface. We suggest that you email compliance at sparworld.com.au who should carry out electrical work associated with spa installations. All electrical work must be carried out by a qualified electrician. What is the maximum distance a heat pump can be installed from the circulation pump of the spa? We recommend that the distance between the heat pump and circulation pump should be no greater than three meters. The height distance between the two pumps should not be any greater than one meter. And to learn more, we recommend that you read this article. Section seven, electrical requirements. Where do I find information on power requirements for my spa or swim spa? You will find all power requirement information on the tech sheet that can be downloaded from the Spa World website. Do spas and swim spas need to have electrical and plumbing approvals in order to be sold in Australia and New Zealand? Yes, all spas need to have both certifications in place in order to be sold legally in Australia and New Zealand. Having an approved spa is vital to your family's safety. And if you would like further information, please contact compliance at sparworld.com.au. Can I run my spa on an extension lead? No, your spa must have a dedicated power supply that's provided by a licensed electrician that's in line with local and national regulations. Section eight, customizing a spa and alternatives. Do I need a hard cover for my spa? Your spa needs to be covered when not in use. The cover that Spa World supplies is lockable and provides a high level of insulation. This has a great impact on reducing running costs of the spa. Leaving an empty spa uncovered and exposed to the sun will damage the acrylic and this is not covered under warranty. I'm allergic to chlorine or don't like the smell, so can I use salt instead? Yes, we are able to offer salt systems for swim spas. However, there are also other solutions out there such as mineral and peroxide based chemicals that may be better suited for you. Visit our learning center for more information. Can I customize the jets or layout in the spa? Can I get extra jets? No, this isn't a possibility because the spas are designed and engineered to function for optimum performance and meet the relevant regulations. Section nine, using the spa. Can I leave my spa empty when not in use? Yes, you can leave it when not in use. However, you must follow a shutdown procedure in your manual and ensure that the hard cover is in place to reduce the effects of direct sunlight or too much heat on the spa shell while empty. As mentioned earlier, leaving an empty spa uncovered and exposed to the sun will damage the acrylic and this is not covered under warranty. Can you run the spa cold in the summer? Yes, the only issue you may face is if the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius outside. The temperature of the spa water will still be high due to ambient temperature. But if you truly want a cool spa in summer, you may need to purchase an optional heat pump which can both heat and cool the spa water. Heat pumps can also save up to 70% on spa heating costs compared to electric heaters. Can I put the spa inside my house? Yes, it's possible to install a spa pool inside a house if the spa's destination point is accessible. We recommend that you ensure you have a good ventilation system and drainage system. This is in case the spa pool was to ever develop a leak. Can I turn my spa off between uses? The short answer is yes. However, we strongly advise against doing this, and that's because the spas are designed to filter and heat when not in use. But turning them off, you will not have filtration and your water will need to be replaced or treated excessively in order to be safe. Section 10, Spa World Learning Center. Do you still have questions that are not covered in this video? For more information, visit the Learning Center on our website. It's here where you can scroll through our helpful video library. You can also read reviews, comparison and maintenance articles, as well as follow customer journeys and read testimonials from our customers and more. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. You should now have a much clearer understanding of the building permits, council requirements, when it's necessary to hire a professional in WA, 
the answers to common questions that spa pool owners have, and more. In this way, you'll be able to continue with your spa buying or installation with the confidence that you know what steps you need to take in order to ensure that your spa meets the standards, will be safe to use, and can avoid potential issues from occurring in the future. To refer back to a certain section in this video, scroll to the time log in the YouTube description below. You can also read the article version of this video on our website. If you would like to speak directly with a Sparwell team member, head to your nearest showroom.